effects of hair changing from darker color to white or gray with age is mainly due to genetics. It can be inherited from either parent. The color of our hair is determined by the, the form of hair pigment that we have. The pigment is actually produced along the hair shaft. And there are two main forms of hair pigment. There's eumelanin and pheomelanin. Eumelanin is what we see in brunettes and darker haired people. And pheomelanin is what we see in blondes and redheads. The cells in our hair bulb produce a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, which is a metabolic byproduct. And typically there's an enzyme called catalase that breaks this down to water and oxygen. But as we age, there's declining levels of catalase, and this allows the buildup of hydrogen peroxide in the hair bulb, which damages and destroys the melanocytes, or the pigment-producing cells of our hair. So I wanted you to take a look at my colleague, Joe, here. Started to go gray when he was 16, and by 22, it was pretty much gray all over. What happened to Joe? So when individuals gray early in life, before the age of 20, it's called premature graying, and this is due to um, genes. And we know there's one gene in particular that's been targeted called interferon regulatory factor four, which is important in regulating and producing melanin in the hair. Joe was lucky enough to inherit some genes that predisposed him to developing gray hair early in life. After all, Obama didn't look like this when he showed up at the White House. So it's controversial the role stress has in hair graying. We know that uh, stress creates oxidative damage in the body, and it's been linked to a lot of premature aging syndromes. So it causes cause damage to the melanocytes and may cause us to grow gray earlier. We know that smokers tend to go gray more so than the general population. And again, it's felt that it's probably due to the oxidative damage that smoke causes and how it affects the pigment-producing cells in the hair.